because I have a dream. That my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Hi. Hi. It's my friend. He's my friend. He's really my friend. He's, he's pretending, but he's my just my friend, Dr. Dre. A world with no dreams? That would be a world with no airplanes, no buildings, no tacos. What Christopher Columbus said, maybe I should stay home and watch Netflix. Since junior high, uh, my dream has been to become some sort of successful musician. Just play music and hang out with my bandmates and be happy. My dream someday is honestly to be happy. To be able to like live down with someone, settle down, have a few kids. And that that's like a dream of my own, to have a nice family. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like. I just want to be happy someday. I don't know. I want to make some new discovery. I want to be like that person that everyone talks about like, oh, she discovered this and she discovered that and she made the planet so much better and like, I want to be that. And I want to be happy and I want my dream is to be happy. My dream is just to be happy, really. My dreams, my dreams, what do I want to do? Well, I want to travel across the world to all the deprived places in the world such as like Pakistan I don't know all those places and then I want to take pictures of people I want to take pictures of them without them knowing them taking pictures of them and then I want to ask to interview them and ask them about their perception of life and how they feel about life and why they feel that way about me you everybody and then I want to write poetry with the pictures in their words so that you feel how they feel. So that you can be like them and you can see what they really are and that we're all really the same person on the inside. Being somebody so I could make a difference in other people's lives, inspire people or, I don't know, just help the less fortunate. Some way, somehow I can make a difference in somebody's life is what my dream is. My dream is to be a great director, um, preferably of horror movies, but kind of just in general. Um, the reason for that, I, there's a lot of reasons. Mostly it's just because it's the one thing in my life that I really, it just, it gives me such a passion when I'm working on it. I mean, even when I was a little kid, I would be coming up with just little random story ideas and I would make my family act it out. I mean, it's just, it's always just kind of been in my blood and I'm not really sure why. But it's, for me, it would just be, it'd be the consummation of everything I've been working towards. And I, I, look, I look at people like Quentin Tarantino and I look at their films and what they've done and I want to add to that. I, I think that I have ideas and visions that could really benefit the filmmaking community. So I really want to get my voice out there. I'm going to travel. I want to see everywhere before I settle down. I don't want to be a young married couple. <laughs> My dream is to travel, to see the w more of the world, because it let, I can just Google, uh, let's just say Europe, and just look like, look at the pre tulips, look at these monuments, look at their history. But to actually be there and have that different, it's like a different feeling, so that's what I want to do is travel. And it's just not Europe, it's the entire world. I would say a dream is like kind of an ambitious goal that we go after that like, we want really bad, but we don't know for sure if we can have it or not. And we want to reach that potential someday, but we still think that we can. I think that's what a dream is. What sort of dream that you're talking about? If you're talking about an unconscious dream, I mean, we all dream at night. But if you're talking about a conscious dream, um, it's, it's more of just uh, thoughts that happen in our head that we often elaborate on in our head. How would I define a dream? I would define a dream as something that you picture yourself doing in your life. Something that makes a change not only in your life, but somebody else's. 
something that makes like a big change, a change that changes everything, at least a little bit. Your dreams should like develop the person that you are. So it should be completing yourself, basically. Something that inspires you, something that gets you up every single morning. I think dreams are what drive you and what can make you who you are. I think that dreams are, they're, they're kind of like they're your biggest goal in life, whether it's something attainable or something that's not. I mean, you know, it's a four-year-old who wants to be an astronaut when they grow up, that's a dream. Or, you know, someone who is 20 years old, a politician, and wants to become the president of the United States, it's a dream. I think a dream is the hardest thing to attain in your life that you really, really want. Uh... I mean, I, I don't have a dream to be a millionaire or a dream to um, have so much success. My dream is just to be happy and make those around me happy. Because I think that if I'm able to be happy and those around me are able to be happy, then there is nothing that we can't accomplish. And I mean, of course, there are smaller uh, aspirations within that, but my ultimate dream is to live in a world where everyone can be happy and do good for others. It's kind of like hope, you know, you have to have hope in your life. You have to have something that you feel you need to live your life for, and your dream is usually that. It's usually, you know, what you view your life in the future. I think people dream because, you know, everyone, whether they tell you it or not, I, I think people have an innate feeling to want more than they have. You know, people, if you're the CEO, you want to, you want your, even if you're the CEO, you want your company to be the biggest of all of them. You know, if you're the guy sitting behind a desk, you know, pushing pencils, you want to be the next step up. Everyone wants something, even if they can't have it. And I think because of that, we dream, you know, we imagine, okay, what would it be like to have that? What would it be like to taste that next, you know, little bit of glory in our lives? Or, you know, and on a lower, on, on a different note, you know, people dream of the things they can't have. I mean, people dream of, you know, when, when tragedy happens, you'll wish for a time that it didn't. We, we dream of what we either can't have or what is difficult to attain. I think people dream because they want to try to predict what their future will become, what they want their future to become. And sometimes just because they want to escape what they are right now and be something else. Because I feel like once we come out into the world of society, we're all adulterized by things around us and it makes us feel like we can't do what we want to do because I mean like every little kid wants to be a superhero every little kid wants to be an astronaut he has some crazy dreams he wants to be Batman and then once he gets older his parents tell him oh no you can't do that so people stop believing in themselves and they also when they stop doing that stop knowing themselves and start knowing the picture in front of their eyes and then they try to chase money or being normal like everybody else and stop doing what they want to do I think that's why people don't live their dreams. And the people who live their dreams never give up on themselves. They never let people tell them they can't do something. They just, they keep going no matter what. Even if they're born like nothing, they're still something because they're themselves and they know that they can keep going and be what they want to be someday. <laughs> and I mean, I think that's why most of us dream is to escape the everyday grind and be something that you want to be. And that's, uh, that's also why I think people read and play music and, I mean, engineer things and, you know, just think of completely random stuff and they write things and they, and they you know, do stand-up comedy and they, you know, they do all these different things to escape, you know, the everyday grind and to sort of express themselves. Let's just try to include other people and not just focus on just yourself. Use your manners, be nice, um, introduce yourself to new people, and hopefully you can be happy by doing that. Because I think that's, that's what makes me happy, is being around other people, talking to them, meeting new people, and hearing other people's stories. Because everyone's got a story and that everyone has their own dream too. So you can always help them out maybe with theirs.
I try to make other people's days better. You know, I remember one time I did really bad on a homework assignment. It was like making me so sad, and I was like so upset about it. And I like went out in the hallway and I complimented somebody on something. I think it was like her hair or something. And she just that made her so happy, and that just made me happy. You know. So I think that's how on a daily basis I fulfill my dream of being happy. It makes me feel safe. Is that weird to say? Like, you know, being happy makes me feel safe. It's nice. I mean, you know, people ask, you know, how do you sit in front of a computer for four and a half hours and just, you know, mess with little medial details. Like, it sounds so boring, but to me, it's such a, it's an incredible source of joy. It's, I, when I'm editing, it's like nothing else matters. So when I'm making a movie, it's like nothing else matters. Every little stress, everything with school or math class or anything, it all goes out the window for me. It's, it's just completely cleansing. Uh, the, the decisions you make now, you can ultimately decide how are these going to affect me in the future. And so I, I would much rather be in the present than anywhere else. I'm trying not to plan too much for the future and let my dreams take me where they want to take me, not plan them out, you know. I think that your dream will come to you, you don't have to plan it. I would say I focus the most on the past. I would say I'm trying to focus more on the present because you know that's that's your life right now and if you spend all your time thinking well I could have done that or I should have done this or oh I did that like, you're not living your life that was given to you now you know I definitely don't focus on the future that much <laughs> but so I would I'm aiming to focus on the present the past kind of happened and it doesn't really matter anymore whatever happened in your past brought you to exactly this moment and so I think that what matters is right now, and what you do right now affects your future, so you can worry about your future all you want, I think, but what you do at this moment, and the lives you can impact, the smiles you can put on people's faces right now, can make a difference in the future, and so whatever you do right now, I think, is the most important thing. You are your only obstacle. You decide whether or not you're worthy to do something. You decide whether or not you can do something. Sure, there might be other roadblocks and there might be obstacles that you didn't place, but you have the ultimate decision whether or not you want to overcome those. If you really want something, if you truly want something, then you have to decide whether or not you want to actually go for it. I mean, you can fall down eight times and people can tell you you're not good enough People can tell you that you're not worth it, you should just give up, but it's the ninth time you get back up is the time you'll catch a break, and uh, that'll be the difference. People just keep going at it and not giving up on what you believe in. Trying to worry less about what others think of me, I guess, you know? And I used to like think, oh, everyone lets me down, nobody's ever there for me, you know, why should I? be nice to them, you know, and that just really brought, like, brings people down, you know, there's no way to be happy when you're like that, you know, and so I would say, like, last year sometime I took the step where, like, you know, I love everyone, it doesn't matter who they are, it doesn't, you know, you just have to love them, like, you don't have to be best friends with them, you don't have to talk to them, but you just have to love them and respect that they're a human being and, you know, they're at a different place in your life, and that has made me so much happier, that is, like, whoo, like, so much happier. Don't think. Do what I feel. That's pretty much what I do. I'm just, I'm happy. You know, I gotta love everything. And that's my dream to love everything. No matter how I do it. I mean, there's a million different ways to do it. There's a billion different ways to do it. There's a trillion different ways to do it. But really, in the end, it's still the same one thing that I'm dreaming. And it's love. And I'm doing it every day, every second in my heart. How do you think it feels? It feels absolutely amazing. It feels like you... Like, it feels like the weight has been lifted off your shoulders and you can, you can do it for hours at a time and just not get sick of it and just feel absolutely fantastic about yourself.